Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Great is the faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness. Morning by morning, you mercies I see. All that I have needed, I hangs are provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. My helper, oh, my helper, my helper, oh, my helper. There is love, there is something that makes me come into your presence, my helper. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today for bringing us into the beginning of a new week, the second Sunday in the Lenten season. We adore you the way you have started with us. We confess that you are our strength, you are our help in ages past and now. And so as Lord, we look up unto you today. And this new week, grant us refreshing. Let your help come to us speedily that God will be able to stand in the congregation of the saints and among the hidden to testify of your goodness, that they will even see and say concerning us that assuredly the Lord has done great and wondrous things among them. That's why we rejoice. Lord, may this be our testimony. Thank you, blessed Father, as we go into your word. Lord, we ask, break the bread of life to us, that we will eat and not die. And your name alone shall be glorified this day. We we'll pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I welcome you, viewers, into this new week. And I want to thank you for your consistency, the way we have started together. And this will be the last episode I have to take as a, another man of God will be coming up. I want to thank you as we have followed together and the help of God upon our life and to appreciate His grace who had given this opportunity and this platform. The Primate of all Nigeria, the Most Reverend Dr. Uh, Chukudum Heri Undukuba. May God continue to bless you, Baba, and strengthen your archiepiscopacy and primacy in Jesus' name. Today we go quickly to our reading, and that is Psalm 33, verse 17 to 21. 17 to 21. And I'll take it quickly. An horse is a vein for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by great strength. Behold, the eyes of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield, for our hearts shall rejoice in him, because we have trusted in the holy name. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today, the portion of this psalm, well, look at verse 20, the topic we are taking, God is our help. And from Psalm 33, 17 to 21, our anchor verse is verse 20. Our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. I want to start by saying that every man, no man is an island. Every man, every woman needed help to become what God wants them to be and what God wants us to be. Our mother needed help before we were conceived. And our father needed help before they could call them fathers and mothers. Even to become great academian, we needed help. Some people had to sit upon our lives. So I have to teach us how to write and how to put things, to fix the figures. Even an apprentice needed help 
to become, to get to a stage of actualization in life. The most greatest person on earth needed help. But one man that do not need help is God. He said, how do I consult it before he made the heavens and the earth? He never needed any architect to do the drawing. Neither did he need any structural engineering to check that it will not be defected. But we all needed help. And there are different types of help. Why we have help that are seasonal, we have help that, are, that, that, are, that may be familiar by associates. We have help that are circum, circumstantial, circumstantial help. But when we talk about this help, untiring help, human beings could be tired. Even when we call them untiring helpers, they could be tired because they, they, they can get fixated. And not only that, and then... Um, they can even die. So they are precarious. But this help we are talking about is the help of God. Untiring help. Untimely help. That cut across all the season and time and nations and tribe. That's the help we are talking about. So this psalm readily brings to our mind the unlimitedness of God's help. The unbeatable help of God without which no man becomes anything, according to verse 17. He said, a horse is in vain. It's a vain thing for safety. Neither shall it deliver any by great strength. It cannot. And Paul corroborated this expression by saying, when he wrote his first epistle to the Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 7 to 12, he, and I read those, he said, what is it? What have you re received? That's verse 7. He said, what have you received that has not been given to you? And if you have received it, why do you boast? Is there anything we have received that has not been given to us? Talk about it. Our name was given to us by somebody. Even life was given to us in our mother's womb. The Lord was speaking to Jeremiah. He said, before you were born, I knew you. Before your mother conceived you, I set you apart. And I call you a prophet, raise you and set you up unto a nation. So nothing I've received today, position, if God does not give, you cannot receive. And the word of God is very clear. He said, no man can receive anything except it is given from above. Moreover, our muscle, that except the Lord builds the house, those who labor, they labor in vain. Psalm 127 verse 1. Then who will the Lord help according to this passage? Verse 18 brings to our heart. He said, Behold, the eyes of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. Number one, those whom the Lord will help must be those who have the fear of God. We are in a generation that people don't care about God. They can't even say anything. Not even talking about the servant of God. God himself is being abused. Some say there is no God. He said the foolish say there is no God. Fear him because the fear of God is the beginning of knowledge. When you fear God, you have information. When you fear God, you are imparted with wisdom, which is the principal thing for your time and for your life. Look at the word of God number two. Those who hope in his mercy, those who depend on the mercy of God, they hope in his mercy, they rely on God's mercy. And number three, those who wait on the Lord. Those who wait on the Lord. 33 verse 20. He said, our soul waited for the Lord. is our help and our shield. So what is the Lord bringing unto us as a warning as I begin to draw a conclusion? Number one, none shall be delivered by his great strength. Strength cannot save you. You need God's help. No matter how big you are, how great you are, if God should touch just one nerve, <laughs> I don't know where you will be. If God should just reset something in our body. All that we are talking about, the exam you thought that you are so sound, you will not be able to write it. And listen to me. He said, none shall be delivered by his great strength. Number two, warning that comes from this passage that I want you and I to take. Also that military wears do not bring about desired victory. But victory is of the Lord, verse 17. 
He said, but victory comes from the Lord. Safety is of the Lord. It's not your fence. It's not your Rottweiler. It's not the dogs we put all around. Or uh, make eye, eye wired things. The one who, who watches over you will neither sleep nor slumber. Is the helper. He said, the Lord is my help. The Lord is my strength. He's the strength of my salvation. I fear no evil. When the evil man will come to eat my flesh, this storm will fall. And God feeds them with their flesh like food and gives them their blood like a sweet drink. That's the word of the Lord. Because the Lord is the light of our salvation. God himself is our refuge. God himself is our defense. And now is our help. In conclusion, I call your attention to Psalm 33, verse 20. He, say, he says, our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our sheet. And I could compare this with Isaiah 40, 31. Are you, will you wait on the Lord today? That's why I say, I will wait upon the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised? Who we'll call upon his name? Those who wait upon the Lord, he said, we renew their strength. They shall mount up wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be tired or faint. I will just want to start by asking you to call upon the name of the Lord. The help of God is certain. Jesus said, come unto me, all you that labor and heavy leading, I will give you rest. I will help you. It's our body in Biara. And it's out to help us. Cast your cares and body unto to the Lord, for he cares for you. Let's bow our heads as we pray. Will you speak to the Lord today and ask that the help of the Lord will be made sure. Ask and say, help me, O God, to trust and to rely on your help now and always. Call upon him. It's our ever-present help according to Psalm 46, verse 1. The help of God is ever-present. It can never be absent. Is not ever absent. He's not irregular. Ask God today and say, Lord, send your help to me. Lord, as I began a new week, I need your help. I have heard that I cannot become anything without help. Let your help come to me. God, let your help put an end to an unnecessary struggle. Lord, I ask that this week will be a glorious one. He said, have you commanded the money? Speak to the day, speak to the season. The heavens to send help. The heart to send help. The sea, the four wings of the earth, send help today. I ask in the name of Jesus. The Orion, the Paladins, the star, the moons. Let them send help. Let the heavens tell of the glory of God upon you. The firmament to declare his handiwork upon you, upon your life, upon your family. And as you go, I pray the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. The Lord continue to make the light of his countenance to shine upon you. May he smile upon you. Grant your heart peace. Grant you joy both now and forevermore. Amen. Stay blessed and stay fit and stay rapturable. God bless you. We meet at that time. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.